Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the differences between vector and bitmap graphics. Now, Flash can do both of these. You can import graphics from external programs or just graphics that you've made, or you can use the drawing tools in Flash and create vector graphics. So we'll take a look at the differences and learn how we can apply each. To begin, you'll need to download the sample file that I have included with this lesson. You'll find a link in your player details box. So just click on that and save it to your computer and then go ahead and open up the file. So just go to file, open, and then choose the file that you just downloaded. Click it and then just select open. In front of you, you see two images. On the left is a vector graphic. On the right is a bitmap image. So at first glance, these two images seem identical. However, one of the main differences with these two uh, different types of design is that a vector graphic retains its quality no matter how big you make it. And to demonstrate this, we will use the zoom tool. So go over to your toolbar and click on the zoom tool. And make sure you have your options set to enlarge so we can zoom in. Now, taking the cursor, just click on your stage two or three times. As you do this, you'll notice that on the left, the graphic um, keeps its quality. It, it stays smooth and it looks just as good as it would if it were zoomed out. On the right, however, the bitmap image starts to pixelize because if you enlarge the image past its original dimension, it will start to deteriorate in quality. And so that is one main difference between bitmap and vector graphics. So let me just zoom back out here. Now, there are some other differences as well. Bitmap images obviously hold an advantage because you can take pictures of anything, of backgrounds, people, whatever, and import them into Flash and, you know, have that picture quality for your animations. And that's great as long as you don't go past the original dimensions that the image is. Now, this downside to that as well is that typically images contain more data making the file sizes larger. Now, vector graphics, on the other hand, um, keep a smaller file size typically because they just contain less data. And so those are two different um, aspects to the bitmap and vector graphic um, dynamic. So let's take a look at how we can apply each of these to Flash. Let's take a look at bitmap images first. So go to File, New, choose ActionScript 3.0 from the box, and click OK. Now we need to import the bitmap image into Flash so we can work with it. So to do this, we go to File, Import, and then Import to Stage or we can do the library option. For this demonstration, we'll import to stage. We can look at the library option in a later tutorial. So go to import to stage. Here, you can browse to the file that you want to bring in. I've included a sample file for you in this lesson. And right now, you can click to download it. It's just a simple picture. And once you've downloaded it, Locate the file named Agnes and just click open. You now have a bitmap image on your screen. And you can always verify that this is a bitmap by simply enlarging it or zooming into it by just taking your zoom in tool and enlarging. And as you can see, as you zoom in, you have those pixels show up, you know, demonstrating that it's not a vector graphic. But anyway, once you have the image in Flash, there are a couple of things you can do. 
First of all, when you have an image brought in by itself, there's really not much you can do with it besides move it around and maybe animate it, you know, flying in or something similar. So what we can do is break the image apart. This will allow us to basically take the image and as the command describes, break it apart so that it's a bunch of pixels and then we can go in and erase or modify the picture in a few different ways.